given myself $100 to purchase five fragrances. When picking my colognes, I wanted to make a well-rounded collection that would be good for all seasons and occasions. I'll be using the current prices on FragranceNet.com to bookkeep my purchases. I thought this would be an easier challenge than it was, and I'll elaborate more on that in a bit. By the way, thanks to one of my subscribers for giving me this video idea. I appreciate you all. The first choice is my Everything and Anything pick. Rayanne Tradition Insurrection Pure 2 is a popular Creed Aventus cologne. It is a fresher and fruitier take on Aventus than Smoky. The opening does not have the realistic smelling notes, but it is the better part of the fragrance. Here you get a blast of fruits, pineapple, apple, and bergamot. It's a traditional fruit opening and lacks any wow factor. As the scent develops, the base is mainly birch and musk like Aventus. Birch is woodier than smokier. There is a heavier focus on musk. Nuances of fruits and vanilla linger in the background, but neither are prevalent. The rest of the wear will be these woods and musk with sweet accents in the background. The performance is the biggest downfall, four hours on the skin with light projection. It only creates a ambiance around you rather than a large bubble. In seasons and occasions, it's everything and anything, but it does struggle in the winter because it is such a weak performer. A 100 milliliter bottle can be purchased for $20.15. And so far, this brings our grand total to $20.15. Next, I wanted a winter-focused fragrance in our $100 collection. Calvin Klein One Shock opens with dominant cardamom spice, a subtle mixture of tobacco and warm amber, and a fresh clementine note in the background. The amber and tobacco are fleeting at first, and then they're replaced by a unique mixture of lavender and cool cucumber. While fresh clementine is most prominent, the wear continues and the freshness fades. The base is all about warm amber and tobacco. The performance is all right. It lasts six hours on the skin with light projection, pushing out one to two feet for the first few hours. One Shock is a fall and winter wear for all occasions. A 100 milliliter bottle costs $21.41, bringing our grand total to $41.56. Next is one of the most popular fragrances for men and my warm weather choice. Nautica Voyage opens with fresh green and aquatic notes, the first spray is masculine with a blast of greenness. After a few minutes, the intensity dies down, making room for fresh and fruity nuances. All of this happens while sitting on an aquatic background. I find it reminiscent of just getting out of the shower. As the scent develops, a more distinct aquatic musk becomes present. For the rest of the wear, Voyage is green with aquatic musk. The notes are inoffensive and never loud. As a whole, the scent profile is very well blended and smells more expensive than it is. It lasts six hours on the skin with average projection, pushing out two to three feet for the first few hours before receding. It can be worn for all occasions, but is best in the spring and summer months. A 100 milliliter bottle costs $17, bringing our grand total to $58.56. Now it's time for a date night fragrance. Guest Seductive Ohm opens with sweet and citric mandarin orange, powdery florals, and spicy pink pepper nuances. Together, this trio has an excellent upbeat and uplifting aroma. Over time, the scent becomes warmer from a strong amber base peaking from below. It brings musky nuances, but they will be more prominent later in the wear. Once it dries down, it's all about amber and musk with sweet and spicy accents retained from earlier. It lasts six to eight hours on the skin with moderate projection of a few feet for the first few hours. A 100 milliliter bottle costs $17, bringing our grand total to $75.56. Lastly, one of the best cheap fragrances for men and one that will put a unique twist in your collection. La Lique Anku Nia starts off as bright and pine forward. You'll say, oh, this is gonna be a fresh and woody fragrance, but that's gonna be further from the truth. The bright cypress and vetiver quickly get hit with a dark nature-based duo of woods and mosses. When this duo presents itself, there is a significant focus for the rest of the wear. From this point on, woods and mosses only get stronger. Halfway through the wear, Ancre Niar gains a damp like quality. It resembles the smell as you walk through a freshly rained forest. It lasts six hours on the skin with good projection of three feet for the first half of the wear. A 100 milliliter bottle costs $27.71, bringing our grand total to $103.27.
So I went $3.27 over, and this list was challenging to make because five decent fragrances for under $100 is a tall task. Yet I am confident with this list because it covers all situations for a very affordable price. In the comments, I'd love to hear about your five fragrances for under $100. Thanks for listening. See you next time.